if you look at yield levels across the board, you know, you could make an argument that there's a generation of investors have not seen yields at these levels. You know, you need to go back to 2007. We're talking now 15, 16 years ago. So it's fascinating to see fixed income coming back, I think, into its more traditional role in portfolio construction. And, and I think as we continue to move forward, that will maintain or sit, uh, I should say, continue to be the case as well. And, and you know, I like to say income is back in fixed income. And I think what you're hearing from advisors, from investors in general, is that they're beginning to take note. And a great example of that was really one, one of the byproducts of what we saw in the regional banking headlines, that we've all seen bank deposits plummet over the last month or so as investors look towards, say, traditional avenues in treasuries, for example, in order to get yield rather than bank deposits.